my life be like. What's up everybody, I am Daniel, and today we are going to be doing the second iteration of the supercharged grappling dummy. Uh, I have the original supercharged grappling dummy here, and if you remember from the first video, he is built, uh, his skeleton is built completely out of three quarter inch hex pipe uh, and pool noodles. Uh, we're going to be building a similar dummy today, but with an articulating knee. Whenever I built this original dummy, I have one piece of pex and pool noodle going all the way from the heel to the head, and so it didn't allow for an articulating knee. The hip articulates well, but the knee does not articulate. So we're gonna be build an articulating knee today. Uh, our pool noodles are gonna be a little bit different, and I suspect that this will be an overall smoother build just because uh, now I have experience in doing it, so I think that this design that we're going to do is going to work uh, even better than the last one. So I'll show you the materials that we'll need and then we'll get started. So these are the materials that we're going to use for this build today. Uh, one is a box full of shredded up clothes. Uh, we're going to be doing four pool noodles and these are the Oodles of Noodles brand from Amazon. I'll leave the link for these in the, in the uh, description. Uh, 70 inch Celebrita grappling dummy. Uh, I'll leave the description in, in there for this too. Three quarter inch PEX pipe, uh, one straight stick, one off of a coil. Your, your coil piece needs to be right around three feet, and then this is a 10 foot piece of PEX pipe. A uh, piece of scrap PEX pipe as your shove tool to, uh, to get all the stuffing down to the bottom of the feet and stuff. Uh, we're gonna have one inch heater hose, you can find this at any hardware store. You need about three feet of it. Four three quarter inch PEX clamps. Uh, two three quarter inch PEX elbows. A PEX crimper. And a PEX cutting tool. Uh, that's basically all you need. All right guys, so just like last time, um, we're gonna start off by cutting our feet. Okay, so the way that you measure your feet, you can't do it all the way to the end of this foot like this, because if you do, this PEX will start to come out the end. Uh, once you start working with it really hard. So just pull it back about two inches or so And make your cut and there's one foot and then I'll show you how to crimp this thing up for uh, your legs All right guys next I'm going to measure for uh, The long leg the long leg is actually going to be our spine for this So it's going to extend all the way from the foot all the way to the top of the head but remember, we're building an articulating knee here. So when we build our articulating knee, you can see that like my knee joint is about six inches. This is another little life hack that you have. Measure your, uh, make an L with your hand and measure from the bottom of your thumb to the tip of your finger. And for most people, that's gonna be right around six inches. If it's five or seven or whatever, it's gonna be right around six. So if you'll see, from the top of my knee to the bottom of my knee is about six inches. That's about how much I want articulation in my knee. So I'm gonna take this from the, the, uh, the top of the head to here and then cut six more inches off of that. So, so I have one, my long leg that's already cut and it's going from the top of my head to six inches before I hit the heel. My next piece, if you have a 10 foot piece of uh, straight pecs and you have a 70 inch Celebrita grappling dummy, guess what? That is making a perfect leg on this side. It is the perfect length for that leg. So now I have a spine and I have an extra leg. And I have uh, two feet. So it should work uh, pretty much just perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna make my feet. So this is pretty simple. <clears throat> All you have to do is put this pex ring on one piece, put the other pex ring on my foot, so this is going to attach the leg to the foot and make me a very, very strong ankle. This is one of the best parts of the supercharged grappling dummy are the ankles. Uh, they feel very, very realistic. So I'll creep that down. All right guys, so this is gonna be kind of the trick portion of the video, and that is uh, how, do, how am I gonna build the articulating knees? So I'm going to build it out of this one inch pex pipe, or I'm sorry, one inch heater hose. So one inch heater hose, 
will marry up perfectly to three quarter inch PEX pipe. As you can see, it doesn't want to come off of there, but it goes in there relatively easy. Uh, it doesn't really want to come off of there. So, I have about three feet of this heater hose. I'm just gonna cut it in half. I can use my PEX cutter just to cut this heater hose, or you can use a knife. So I got that there. Now, this uh, Celebrita, I wanna put my foot dead in the center of the, uh, uh, in the dead center of the Celebrita foot, and you will be able to see this thing has a knee. So at the bottom of that knee, I'm gonna make a cut. And then I'm gonna slide this heater hose over here. It's gonna go pretty far in there because I don't want it to move and I don't want to use any metal clamps on this because, well, if I use a metal clamp, it may end up sticking through. These metal clamps are nice and smooth, so they're not gonna to want to poke through these tubes that were, or the pool noodles that we're gonna put on. But this, on the other hand, this, if I used like a, a heater clamp, uh, heater hose clamp, I'm afraid that it would start to poke through that pool noodle. All right guys, so I finished building my articulating knees. Uh, I think that they're gonna work absolutely perfectly. Uh, you can see how those are. This ended up a little bit longer than I thought it would, so I'm gonna clip it off just a little bit here at the head. I'm just gonna clip a couple of inches off here at the head. These knees should be just the greatest though, because you can see I can bend it it does not want to come out of there at all. You can see that I can bend it in any direction, and this grappling dummy is the only grappling dummy I know that has a pronounced heel. So whenever I uh, am using this as, a, as my heel hook partner, this should, look at that, that gives almost a perfect amount of resistance and articulation to there. This is gonna work awesome. This is gonna work. Anyway, we're gonna try it to make the feet right here. Make sure you can see. I'm just gonna make it here to the end there. And I'm gonna cut a 45. All right, guys. So we're back with another edition of Do As I Say and Not As I Do. Uh, what I should have done <laughs> is I should have put this pool noodle on before I uh, put on uh, this piece of, of rubber or put on this elbow because, man, it will not go on there. And I can't get this piece of rubber off anymore. It is completely stuck on there. So I'm calling a little bit of an audible here. Uh, we are just going to... I just made a slice in this pool noodle. And uh, we're gonna use the same thing that we use for all of our injuries in jujitsu, right? And that is a little bit of this white tape. All right guys, so after my little audible of just uh, cutting this pool noodle and taping it onto the legs, you can see this is what each one of the legs looks like. This one has the pec spine all the way through it and it will go all the way through the head. And this one I'm gonna do a little bit different than last time too. I am actually gonna leave the end of this pool noodle on so that uh, this can have a spine too. So, uh, or this is gonna be part of the spine to make it stiffer. And if you, uh, 
watch my review of the supercharged grappling dummy. That's one of the things that I really like is the stiffness of the spine makes it uh, like a regular person. So whenever you're doing the Americana, the hips come up, and when you're doing the Kimura, the head comes up, uh, and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna start stuffing these legs in, uh, and then we're gonna start getting it stuffed. And then we'll put the arm, we'll make the arms, and put the arms in, and then go from there. All right, guys. Before I fill the, uh, do the arms, I want to stuff the legs. I want to get the, total, uh, the lower body uh, totally complete and uh, stuffed down. So I'm just going to take these strips of cloth and just slowly but surely stuff, 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 stuff. stuff. Use my pick spike down. All right guys, from the waist up, we're gonna do this basically exactly like we did the original supercharged grappling dummy. And that is by making the arms one piece of this curved pack. You can see what this does. If you haven't seen the other video, this makes these stiff all the way through. It's not like they flop around at all. When you get against it, it feels like somebody's making a frame against you. So that's what we're gonna do again. Uh, so, we will measure this from here to here. Make our cut. All right guys, so you remember this box of clothes? It is all in the dummy and the head is still not full. So that's why I have this guy, some sealed out there. I have this guy here, that's my backup. This is basically a completely worthless grappling dummy that we had laying around. So. All right guys, so I'm done uh, filling the Celebrita dummy. Uh, it took a, a while. You gotta plan for a couple hours for this project, but his knees feel amazing. Um, I'm really anxious to kind of test them out and uh, see what they're about, so uh, let's do this thing. So, oh, actually let's, let's Make sure that the top half is like the old supercharged grappling dummy as well. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did in my review of the supercharged grappling dummy video. So we'll test the hips here. I'm going to bring this in, come to my Americana, see if the hips rise, which they do. They're rising. Come here, lock those hips down. Bang. All right, that's good. So let's try the Kimura. Here, boom, side control, bang, bang. Let's see if that head comes up. If I'm sloppy, that head ain't, man, that's, that spine is so stiff. Dang, that's awesome. So, it reminds you, do your hip switch, come over the top, and that sucker is gone. So, let's try out the legs. Man, this is good. I, man, I, I can already feel that they feel awesome. But we'll start off here in our guard pass scenario. He's got guard, visualizing, visualizing feet up. Step in the center, get my underhook, adjust, adjust, back step and gather. Here, fake the guard pass, come under the thigh. Oh, dude, that feels so stinking good. That feels extremely realistic. So it's bending for me, but it's heavy. Like it's a heavy, heavy leg. So I'm here, come back, do my switch up, 
Come back, grab the heel, stump leg. Dude, this is the great thing about grappling down is who do you know that can take this? Just, just reaching on that sucker. I mean, that's gonna destroy anybody's leg. That leg feels awesome. Let's try it with uh, something straight. Let's do the same guard pass scenario, except uh, I'll do the knee bar. We'll see how it goes. So I'm here, visualize, visualize, come in, get my underhook, fight, fight, adjust, adjust, back step, step up, fake in here, fake in here, he's straightening out, get behind my neck, boom, man, it feels good there too, the straight feels good, dang, let's come over here to an outside ashi position, so I'm here, golly, yes. So typically when I get this outside ashi, I have to dig under this knee to expose that heel like that. So man, it feels so realistic there. Bang, bang, suck these in, boom, man. That is a 1,000% success. I am extremely happy with it. The hips need to It'll take a little bit for the hips to come in because they're stuffed. Eventually this will settle out and where the dexterity needs to be, it will be the, the neck. Because I put that extra pool noodle all the way to the top of the head, this neck is stiff like they should be. One thing I did too that I did not do with the last grappling dummy is these wrists, I didn't stuff all the way to the, uh, to the hands just because with the original supercharged grappling dummy, the, the wrists, unless you're fighting Brock Lesnar, those wrists are just too stinking big. So these are realistic wrists. You can see, maybe you can see. My fingers are almost touching on that wrist because I left it with the, uh, with the pool noodle. So uh, one thing, get this. One thing that I did want to say is the difference between these pool noodles is only, I mean, it looks like nothing. It's only like a half an inch. This made it so much easier to stuff those clothes past this one. For one, if you can see, this one is slicker and it's smaller in stuffing it past. Now, that being said, this guy, is a necessity. You have to have something to push down past these uh, pool noodles. Overall, total success. Super happy with how it turned out. I will leave in the description um, the links to get your tools, to get your stuff, uh, and what the total cost is for everything. One thing is, that was 7 8 um, heater hose that I used, not 1 inch. I, it was stuff that I found in my shop. I thought it was 1 inch but it is seven eighths. But I will leave the description for all that stuff uh, in the description. And that's it, man. Guys, have a great day. Hopefully uh, everything is good with you. Make your grappling dummy, use your grappling dummy. I have more stuff coming. Uh, so stay tuned, subscribe, all of that. All right? Hard work, work. Put my boots on and lace them up. Hard work, work. Got another day's of work. Hard work, work. Hard work, that's what they say.